Hi, my name is Daniel. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ryzen. Welcome to our tutorial video series um, about the two content creator. Um, and in today's videos, um, this is going to be the overview videos. And this is um, the purpose of this video is to help guide you through a tutorial of how you can utilize the tool um, and the structure and the layout of the tool, as well as um, some of the function in which to help you build an outline. Right. Um, so let's start with uh, let's start from the beginning. Um, so you can access the tool directly from our main uh, menu bar on the top side of the screen. Uh, from there, you just simply create a project that you like. Uh, our assumption is that, is that you may have several different kind of website, or in each of the website, you may have uh, different content that fit with uh, different purposes. And so we will we we organize them in a project uh, manner. So, for example, you have one website A. Um, in that, you have different project. The project one is for a single cluster, the main cluster uh, one, uh, and then uh, other project would serve different uh, topic cluster that you want to work on. So um, I have another a project, um, it's called Nutrition Plan, and I click on it, and in here there will be the list of article in which I want to uh, execute. So um, you can just simply add a new article from here. Um, in the new article setting, in the article setting, you will put in the seed keyword that you want to target on. And this seed keyword usually will come from the article list that you gather from the previous steps. Uh, after you're done with uh, our uh, keyword cluster um, function, right? Um, so also from here, there is the button that called Google NLP. And Google NLP is the option you'll turn on and we will uh, actually use uh, the service of Google NLP to uh, detect and dissect and give you all of the uh, sentiment as well as the um, entities in which Google will return so that you can include in your content to the purpose is to guide Googlebot um, for them to understand your context and meaning of the content that you wrote uh, easier and faster right um, you can turn on or turn off depends on how if whether you have the Google NLP uh, on our website you can purchase it uh, hover on it and you can purchase on our pricing page um, so over here, I have already created uh, an article and I just call it nutrition plan just for demonstration purposes. Click on the article. You'll be able to see that again, um, it breaking down into three steps. The first step is outline to use. This is the step where you are focusing on building the perfect outlines for your content. Uh, all of the, all of the design and all of the function in here are all to the purpose of those to, is to serve, uh, on how you can help you to build the outlines better. Um, the second step would be keyword to include. This is where you will select terms, uh, NLP terms from your competitor, the terms in which your competitor is targeting on, as well as the entities uh, from Google to include in the content uh, so that as you were writing, you can track. Thirdly is the content writing. That is where you start execute on the content in which you have planned and the outlines here. Um, the second part of the overview is that you can see here there's a textbook mode and as well tutorial library. So when you go in there and you are first time, uh, you, you, you want to know exactly what are the terms and what it means. Uh, you can just simply click on the textbook mode and, um, and there we will actually show you all the content uh, or the definition of the of the content that you would like to, to see in here. Now that's the usage of textbook mode. And if when you are already kind of understand, have a good understanding of how our tool work, you can simply turn it off. Our tutorial library is where we show you all the, tut the, the how-to guide, key features, and related material. You can access directly from here as a library. 